Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today's video, very, very cool, a completely different look from what you may really come to expect from a review. Now when I say a different look, what I'm talking about is this 200 times microscope lens adapter for a cell phone. I have used this now a couple of different times in my video reviews to bring the action really close up, give you the fine details, and this is exactly how I did that with the Apexel 200 times microscope. Very nice. I do have to say I am very impressed at this. It has really given me another great tool in my video production arsenal. This is really taking a cell phone, converting it into, and I'm not going to say molecular level microscope, but definitely something that will get you deep into the details. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to talk to you about this in practical use, show it to you in a demonstration, go through a few different things that I've used it for that were pretty practical, and then on top of that, just bringing you into how to mount it, very straightforward. And really, with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Apexel who did provide this for review. And so here, taking a look at the 200 times microscope for my smartphone. From the company Apexel, Apexel, a really cool brand. They have a ton of different optics across the board. So from binoculars to microscopes, and in this case, mobile lenses. There are a number of different lenses that can adapt to your cell phone. That's exactly what we have here today with this 200X microscope. So coming with everything you need, nice little case and everything ready to go. This has a rechargeable battery for the light. You will notice that not only does this have the optic itself, but it does have a light. And I found that when I had to charge this up, it was really easiest to use the charging cable that this actually came with. It's the appropriate length in terms of your ability to actually get it installed. So you need to be a little bit mindful just use the cable that this comes with, not a big deal. But getting this ready for use, fully charged up and ready to go, what do I think about this Apexel 200 times microscope adapter? Well, first and foremost, extremely easy to install on your phone, very simple. So this is nice where it's a simple clip. So even if you have a case on your phone, you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever. This does slide from side to side, which allows you to align it absolutely perfect with the lens of your actual camera and setup is literally just a mere matter of minutes. So once you get this installed, you can see getting it to the video mode. You do want to be careful. Sometimes with the modern cell phones, you have different lenses for photo and different lenses for video. You just need to line this up accordingly. So here you can see a little bit of a fine tuning while well, I get this thing lined up, but no problem at all just kind of twisting it around and getting everything squared away. Now, in terms of the light, you do have a couple of different intensities, and I found that the light output on this is perfect. It isn't overbearing, and it doesn't create any sort of problems with your actual exposure and your phone adapting very, very nicely. So as you see here, I'm literally just using the actual informational pamphlet to try to get a basic understanding of the capabilities of this microscope and start to get a little bit of use under my belt. And as you see here, getting everything squared away and ready to go, using it here, very, very simple. Up close on some of the details, well, the first thing that you'll see is it actually, very interestingly, is allowing me to see the individual little sort of pixels in this photo. So the actual image here, very close up. You'll notice that you also have the ability to pinch and zoom, which gives you even more detail. So of course, this is using a little bit of digital zoom, but at the same time taking advantage of the optics both on your cell phone and on the 200X microscope adapter. So very straightforward and very easy to use. I found that this was very useful for a number of different things. So taking a look here at my work tough stinger, I wanted to see the edge quality on a used knife and also on a brand new one. So here, taking a look up close, a very new, brand new edge very, very clean. You can see here all the way down on the convex edge, extremely, extremely sharp. Very well done from the people at Work Tough Gear. A very fine, refined edge. And you can see here, very well polished. 
extremely refined, no edge damage, no edge deformation whatsoever, and just really, really clean on the brand new edge on my Stinger. Looking up close, you can see some of the laser etching here, as well as some of the details that you get on the flats of the knife. But moving forward, you can see now this one's a used edge. I have put this on a strop. I have put this on a ceramic rod. And the interesting thing here, you can see a little bit of the chatter. You can see a little bit of scuffs where I've actually stropped this and where I've used it. And it's really neat because you cannot see that with your naked eye. But looking up close here, a couple little chips, couple little dings, not a big deal, but just very interesting to take a look at the used blade here on my Stinger. Very cool. Now again, looking a little bit closer at some of the etching after all sorts of use, you can see a little bit of area here and there where there's some debris, a little bit of rust forming, not a big deal, but definitely something worth noting. I thought it was really neat and unique to be able to look up at the knife this close. And real easy to maneuver the knife through the different areas of the lens and get this fairly well into focus. I found that for the most part, a little rocking motion was capable of what I needed to do. So as I take a look through the spine of the knife here and up against the scales, real clean manufacturing, you can definitely see all the detail. But what about some other interesting things I had kicking around? Well, what about this? What do you think this is? Looking up close, can you tell? I thought this was really, really cool. This is looking really close at almost the individual ingredients on a graham cracker. So yes, a graham cracker. Looking at it really close up, really cool. I thought this was just a neat way to see some of the detail. Again, remember you can pinch zoom and zoom right into the image. So taking advantage of both the optics, but also the digital zoom to get further into the details. Now here, another real interesting look. Can you tell what this is? It looks a little bit surreal. It's definitely something worth noting, but here, this is what a table looks like after it's been sitting out and weathered at length. Looking up close here, you can see, well this here, this is actually a little bit of mold and fungus that has accumulated on the surface of the picnic table where I was camping. So just really neat seeing that up close gives it a kind of a different look, doesn't it? Now what about this? Again, another sort of interesting look at things. This definitely has some real fine particles, real fine specks when you look deep down. But at the end of it all, zooming in a little bit further, what is this? Well, this is actually the paint on my SUV. So taking a look up close and just getting some of the details, I thought it was something unique and worth looking at. Now here, this one definitely makes sense. As you take a look here, this is very close up on my son's sweatshirt. As we take a look at the different yarns and the individual sort of strands here, you can see a separation of color and where the dye has taken in some areas and where it hasn't. So here, looking up close and even furthermore, zooming into the picture, getting even closer, you can definitely see the definition between the individual strands. And I think that's something that's just interesting, something to take a look at. And the fact is you can get that close, really, really cool. But then again, looking at this at a distance, you can see now all the different colors. Now here, getting a little more close up and personal, what is this exactly? Very surreal and at the same time, something that makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. As you look here, very close and detailed, a little bit flaky, what's going on here? Well, this is actually looking close up on my daughter's hand. So you can see a little bit of dry skin there. Maybe she needs herself some lotion. Either way, just having some fun. Oh, that looks so gross. That, that looks like zombie. It's like bacon. Now this, definitely grody. I took a pretty good wipe out on my scooter. My hand was healing, getting to a point where it was starting to heal. But take a look at this, just up close nasty scab, really flaky, chunky, and disgusting, but at the same time, just really cool taking a look at this at close up detail. And as you look at it off in the distance, it actually doesn't look nearly as bad as it does close up. Now a real practical use actually got to the situation where one of the kids we were with had something in his back. We thought it was a tick. I would it's say, it's, I would say not a tick. What? We really wanted to make sure if he had to go to the doctors that we got a good look at it. 
Lo and behold, by the end of all of this, digging at it a little bit, we figured out, nope, it's not a tick. Somehow he just ended up with a splinter in the middle of his back. Pulled it off, ready to go. And so, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at this Apexel 200 times microscope adapter again just so cool so very useful just something that for me has really for this small little package added a huge amount of value a huge amount of just interest and intrigue in the ability now to convert my cell phone into basically a microscope now again am i talking molecular level i'm not looking at cellular level stuff all I'm really talking about is getting deeper into the details, looking at some of the fine details and getting to the point where you can see things that you couldn't otherwise see with your naked eye. And I think this did a really great job for that. It was extremely, extremely easy to set up, literally. And when I say a matter of seconds, literally a matter of seconds, just centering this over the lens, making sure that I had it all set up. The fact that this has a built-in light is just awesome. I love that in a couple of different intensity settings. The perfect amount of light, not overbearing, not killing the actual exposure on the phone, just doing a real nice job. So the Apexel 200 times adapter here, absolutely fantastic. Keeping in mind the main principle being you're now leveraging the optics of the phone with the optics of the adapter. You're not doing like interpolation with pixels and you're not really at that point sort of degrading the quality of the image itself. If anything, you're capable of enhancing it both for photos and for video, which is really, really cool. So I'm excited to try more Apexel lens adapters. I think these are a great product. They're real easy to use and having a little sort of array of telephoto lens or wide angle, or in this case, just the ability to leverage this for that microscopic view, really, really cool. So to the people at Apexel, thank you very much. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there, so if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.